Hey everyone, welcome back to Plant-Based Kitchen. I don't normally do gadget reviews on this channel, but I wanted to try to do one here. I've had this sandwich maker since I was a kid. My mom used to use this. Basically this pops open, you can throw bread and fillings in here and make a sandwich. So I just want to test that versus making a grilled cheese sandwich on the stovetop. Here we're going to do a side-by-side -side test and we're going to see, is this worth like uh, buying a sandwich press like this? or are you better off just doing it this way? So let's go ahead and get started and uh, let's see how this goes out. Here for the sandwich maker press, this is pretty simple. This just opens and closes. So we're just gonna plug this in, grab a slice of bread, put it on here. And then I'm just gonna grab another slice of bread and throw it on top of here. And then we can just close this down. This light should go off when it's done. All right, so there we go. We have this one was the stovetop grilled cheese. This one was made in the in the sandwich maker. So let's test this out first for how crispy they are. If you can hear that, that one's pretty crispy. That's the one made on the stovetop. I'd say crispiness level, they're both about the same. Let's uh, go in for taste test. Now let's try this one. The melt on the cheese is better on the um, on the sandwich press, but that's only because on the stovetop it's more finicky about getting it right. Whereas like in the sandwich press, you're gonna get a more even melt. If you're unsure of how to make grilled cheeses, or you're not someone who makes them often, and you're not really great at making a good grilled cheese, you're gonna get a consistent result with the sandwich maker. Although it's not. It's going to be consistent, but it may not be the best if you really know what you're doing. Is it worth the purchase? I don't know. You decide. There's a market for that for people that just want to throw something in very simple. Don't want to think about how to make something. Just be able to throw it in, close the lid. Once the light goes off, you know it's done. You can just pull it out. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any suggestions or requests for any future videos, please make sure to put them down in the comments. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and staying healthy. Thank you.